Hello and welcome to MakeLog number 8. I would like to show you today the very basics of the time domain and the frequency domain of an electrical signal. We have a signal generator here and the signal is passed to an oscilloscope which gives us the time domain and to a spectrum analyzer which gives us the frequency domain. You see we have a sign here with a specific frequency and this frequency is approximately 1 MHz and we see this frequency here in the spectrum analyzer. As we increase the frequency you can see that the number of oscillations per time gets bigger. Also the peak in the spectrum analyzer goes to higher frequencies and so you can see that the frequency is increasing. For the next signal let's choose a sawtooth signal. The sawtooth has the same frequency as the sine signal but in the spectrum you can see that there is energy at other frequencies. Also if we switch to a rectangle it has the rectangle has the same frequency as the sine but you can see that it has energy at other frequencies too. And these are the same distances. It is because if you have a look at a normal sign and you add another sign with the double frequency to it you get something like this. And this is what is done if you change the functions here. You add additional signs at other frequencies and you can see the energy of the other frequencies here in this spectrum. I hope I could give you a rough impression about the time and the frequency domain and how they belong together of electrical signals. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation and I hope to see you again.